CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 26 through 30. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 26. An employee wants to access files stored on a shared network folder from their Windows workstation. Which command line tool would allow them to connect the network drive to the shared folder? The answer is A. NetUse. The NetUse command in Windows is used to map network drives to shared folders. It allows users to establish connections to remote file shares and assign them to drive letters on their local system. By specifying the NetUse command followed by the desired drive letter and the UNC path of the shared folder, users can access files and resources stored on remote servers as if they were stored locally. Question 27. A technician is setting up a new workstation for an employee who frequently connects to the internet without needing a fixed private address. Which of the following protocols is the technician most likely to use? The answer is A. DHCP. DHCP, known as Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, plays a pivotal role in network management by automating the assignment of IP addresses to devices. Instead of manually configuring each device with a fixed or static IP address, DHCP allows devices to obtain IP addresses dynamically as they connect to the network. Question 28. A university is implementing a new network infrastructure across its campuses. A technician is responsible for integrating the classroom computers into the university's domain. However, upon attempting to join the domain, the technician notices that the domain join option is missing from the system settings. Which edition of Windows is most likely installed on the classroom computers? The answer is D. Windows Home. Windows Home editions are primarily tailored for individual or household use, offering a more user-friendly interface and essential features suitable for personal computing needs. However, compared to professional, enterprise, or educational editions, Windows Home lacks several advanced functionalities. One notable absence is the ability to join a Windows domain. Question 29. A cybersecurity analyst investigating a data breach at a financial institution notices suspicious activity indicating that users' inputs are being captured. Which of the following options is most likely responsible for the unauthorized data capture? The answer is C. Keylogger. A keylogger is a type of malicious software that secretly records and monitors the keystrokes made by a user on a computer or mobile device. It captures every key pressed, including passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information, which can then be used by cybercriminals for unauthorized purposes. Question 30. A user encounters difficulties when trying to connect an external Bluetooth adapter to their laptop. Despite several attempts, the device fails to establish a stable connection. Which of the following tools should the technician utilize to diagnose and rectify this issue? The answer is D. DevMGMT.msc Device Manager, which can be accessed using the DevMGMT console file, is a Windows tool for managing hardware devices. It provides a centralized interface to view device status, update drivers, enable, slash disable devices, and troubleshoot issues. In this scenario, the technician would use Device Manager to investigate and resolve the connectivity problem with the external Bluetooth adapter. Using this tool, they can check if the adapter is recognized, ensure correct drivers are installed, and troubleshoot any errors or conflicts. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.